you're watching game design with scratch and today we are going to make a personality quiz in fact we are going to make an inside out personality quiz in this video we'll start by taking a quick look at the completed quiz and then we'll go over all the goodies i put in the starter project to give you guys all the tools you need to build this game let's get started This game starts out by displaying this title page for two seconds, and then it goes straight into the first question. For each question, we need to select one of these five choices by clicking on it. So for example, for this first one, choose a favorite quote from the movie. Hmm, this is hard. I really do love all of these. But I think my favorite is, congratulations, San Francisco, you've ruined pizza. So I'm going to click on this one. Now, as soon as I click on one of the five squares, the next question shows up with five new choices. This is going to go on for 10 different questions. And after we make our selection for the 10th question, the outcome is displayed. So let's get you guys all set up with the starter project. Below this video, enter your email address and the download for your starter project should get to you pretty much instantaneously. So I'm going to head over to my inbox, open up my email and click this download button. This will download a starter project with this .sp2 extension, either into your downloads folder or some other folder where you choose to save it. Now let's open up Scratch, click on create to create a new project, and then go to file, upload from your computer, navigate to the place where you save this file, and click open. It's going to ask you if you want to replace the contents of the current project, and yes, we do, so click OK. OK, let's look at what we have in here. Our stage has three different backdrops. The first backdrop is the title page, and like we said before, we will have a display for two seconds when the game first starts, and then we will switch it with the second backdrop and use this one as the background while we display each of the 10 questions. Finally, we'll use this last backdrop when we're ready to display the outcome. Okay, now let's look at our sprites and the costumes they came with. This is probably the most confusing part of the whole thing, so make sure you pay close attention. So, like I said before, we have 10 questions, and for each question we have 5 passable choices. So let's look at our first question. It says, choose a favorite quote from the movie. And our first choice is, all right, we did not die today. I call that an unqualified success. I'll give you two seconds to guess which character said that in the movie. And yes, you guessed it. It was fear. Now the second choice says, come on, group hug, you two anger. And that was, of course, said by Joy. Next we have, okay, I'm positive you'll get lost in there. I love that one. And that was said by Sadness. On a scale of 1 to 10, I give this day an F, was said by none other than snarky little disgust. And finally, my personal favorite, congratulations San Francisco, you've ruined pizza, was of course said by anger. So here is how our program is set up. Since this is the first question, this up here is the first costume of the question sprite. This is the first costume of the fear sprite. This is the first costume of the Joy Sprite, and so on. So if we take a quick look at our question sprite, as you can see, it has 11 costumes. The first 10 costumes are the 10 questions, and the last costume is blank, and we will use that when we are ready to display the outcome. Now our Joy Sprite also has 11 costumes. The first 10 costumes are the answers to the 10 questions that fit Joy's personality. And the 11th costume is blank, and again, we will use it when we're ready to display the outcome. So, as you can imagine, the order of the costumes is very important in this particular program. Costume number one is specifically the answer to question number one. Costume number two is specifically the answer to question number two, and so on. So, please don't change the order of the costumes. Now, last but not least, we have the outcome sprite, and it has five different costumes one for each possible outcome. 
Finally, the starter project also came with just a little bit of code, one variable, and two lists. And how these work is beyond the scope of this game, but they will come in handy in step four when we will be switching around the location of each of the character sprites. We'll be doing that to make the game less predictable because if the answer that fear would say is always at this spot, then the game becomes a bit predictable and predictable is no fun. In any case, for now, all you need to know is that these are there for a reason. Keep them where they are and don't change them. And we will use them soon enough. And I think we're ready. I don't know about you guys, but I think this is going to be fun. When you're ready, click the go to step one button and let's start building this quiz.